medical schools that have a very active, productive research laboratory. We are pioneers here. There is no other place that does the same kind of research that we, we're doing here. It's translational research. It's from therapies that are being used in clinic. Then we take those to the tyranny lab doing basic science and then take them to clinical research, which helps to validate them amongst conventional medicine and also informs the public as well. There's a lot of very exciting research underway in the Tyranny Lab right now. We have scientists who are working on turkey tail mushroom as a preventive agent for cancer. We have uh, scientists working on herbal preparations to slow the progression of diabetes. We have uh, scientists and faculty members who are also working on curcumin as a prevention for liver disease. And we're also looking at echinacea for the prevention of cold and flu. Well, it's a mushroom that grows all over. It grows in the woods out behind the, uh, the campus here. But in Japan, they have perfected the method of extracting the active ingredients from the mushroom into a powder that can be then given medicinally. We found that it stimulates the immune system. It also stimulates um, these important cells called natural killer cells in the immune system that then go and actually engulf or kill tumor cells. Uh, the turkey tail mushroom study involves trying to isolate the active ingredients in the mushrooms that seem to have this immunological protection against cancer. And we're also doing a couple of clinical studies, one on breast cancer and uh, one on prostate cancer. The Tierney Lab is important to Bastyr University for many reasons. It is a resource for all of our investigators, both um, basic science and clinical research investigators. The clinical research investigators sometimes use it to store blood, to do some preliminary tests before they send them out. The basic scientists, of course, are using a lot of space and equipment here. And then we also have uh, postdoctoral fellows that come for three years. We usually have two to three of those at a time working in the lab. I'm surrounded by colleagues who wholeheartedly believe in naturopathic medicine and are very passionate about it. The Tierney Laboratory is probably, I would go as far as to say, is the only laboratory of its type. Sure, there's a lot of natural products laboratories, but there are no uh, laboratories that work in conjunction with alternative health care services that we deliver. We have so much evidence-based power that we can actually get over here and that gets published and that is there for the whole world to read. One thing that's really exciting about the research that we're doing here is that uh, quite often what's being learned in the laboratory can immediately just uh, translate itself into a lesson in the classroom. The research that's done here in the Tierney Laboratory is important for the future of medicine in a couple different ways. I think the two key things are quality. The other thing is proving to the scientific community um, that these medicines do work. Our project deals with uh, the development of non-alcoholic uh, steatohepatitis and it has something to do with obesity. It's in about 5 to 10 percent of the population and it seems to go up with obesity. So with the, with the current obesity epidemic we're expecting a lot more people with this type of hepatitis in the future. By treating them with curcumin, curcumin works well on uh, diminishing iron in the cell and it also works as a treatment against diabetes. To the best of my knowledge, it hasn't been done before, so I'm kind of breaking ground here. I'm uh, splitting uh, K562 breast cancer cells and I'm working on a project, that, several projects that use the K562 line. And so what we're doing is uh, testing the immune uh, response of various subjects who have taken uh, mushroom extracts and to see um, how well their natural killer cells um, respond to um, the uh, K562s.